I now give the floor to international, uh, to the distinguished representative of International IDEA, followed by Interpol. Excellencies. International IDEA is an intergovernmental organization with 34 member states dedicated to advance democracy. In recent years, we have built a significant body of knowledge on risk management, resilience building, and crisis management in the field of democracy assistance, which provide relevant inputs into this thematic discussion on the summit of the future. We would like to thank our member states, co-facilitators, Namibia and Germany, for the opportunity to provide inputs to this consultative process. Based on our analysis, we would like to bring a few reflections to this discussion on the ways in which the international community can better respond to crises that have a multidimensional impact on societies. Lessons from recent global shocks show us that democratic processes and institutions are not immune to them. The COVID-19 pandemic has had global impacts on democracy by disrupting electoral processes and posing challenges to the functioning of democratic institutions. Yet crises are also points when openness to innovation and learning have reached new heights. We have never before experienced the thirst for knowledge we saw during the COVID-19 pandemic. Comparative experiences harvested by us helped election authorities develop arrangements for increased operational effectiveness and enhanced participation, thereby improving trust in electoral processes. In most cases, this also created the momentum for moving forward with long overdue reforms. The resources idea created on lessons from COVID-19 and elections, as well as the Democracy and Human Rights Tracker, provide valuable tools for practitioners. The most important lesson we can share with this body is about process, allowing for inclusive, inclusiveness, participation, and transparency during crisis decision-making processes is sometimes even more important than the substance of decisions made. From this perspective, the UN should play a critical role in tackling global crisis by including as many voices as possible in negotiation processes and ensuring that there is openness to learning. The knowledge accrued should not stay there, though. There should be a deliberate effort to pass it on to the global public and, in particular, marginalized groups. Hence, opening spaces for organizations such as ours to share comparative knowledge on how to protect democratic institutions, such as elections, during crisis is crucial to the success of global decision-making processes during critical emergencies. Electoral processes and institutions should be recognized as critical infrastructure in democratic societies. Such recognition ensures that democratic institutions are protected during crisis. This is our key message. International IDEA considers democratic institutions in general and electoral processes in particular as vital infrastructure whose functioning is deeply affected by global shocks. They are as vital as any utility or public service. They deliver essential public goods and services that allow societies to function during crisis and recover from them. Therefore, we recommend that such infrastructures are explicitly protected by international norms and practices to deal with global shocks. Thank you. Thank you, and I now give the floor